Hi and welcome to the second video in my series on getting started with SOLIDWORKS 2014. My name is Christian and in this video we're going to talk about sketching and extrusion. So let's go ahead and jump right in here by opening up a new part. And here we are inside of our new part. And we're going to start by creating a sketch. So we'll jump over to the sketch tab on the ribbon up at the top and go ahead and click on sketch. And this is going to ask us to define a plane on which we're working. So we're going to go ahead and select the top plane for right now. You'll notice it rotates up and now we're working on the top plane. Let's go ahead and start by drawing a rectangle. I'm just going to draw a rectangle just like that. And I'm going to finish the sketch. You'll notice here we have our sketch and it's of a rectangle and if we head back to our features, we can go ahead and extrude that really quick. As you'll notice here that when we get into the extrusion command, it gives us a preview of, of how it's going to extrude. And there are some visual cues that we can use. So for example, you can click and drag on the arrow and have it extrude more or less. If you want to be more precise with your clicking and dragging, you can click and drag on top of the ruler and it will, uh, uh, it will jump to the measurement that you have that you're hovering on top of. Alternatively, you can always type in values over here on the side. So, and that's kind of my preferred method. Of, I, I prefer to key in things than use the mouse. So let's go ahead and say this is going to be 0.5, and go ahead and click OK. Now we have this this kind of rectangular block that we created. So let's go ahead and make uh, another sketch on here and extrude another piece up. And we're going to make another positive extrusion. You'll notice at the top here we've got the option to do an extruded boss or an extruded cut. The boss essentially means that you're, you're doing a, a positive space extrusion. You're, you're creating more material, you're pulling more material out of, out of your sketch. And with the cut, you're removing material with your sketch. So let's go ahead and make another sketch on here and we're going to pick the plane that we're going to work on, which is this top plane. And I'm going to actually just draw one more rectangle here, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and exit the sketch and head back over to features. One of the things that's good to know kind of going into this about sketching is that if you don't use, um, if you don't have a closed loop in your sketch, meaning that you might have two, two or more ends of, of segments of, of geometry that don't end coincident to each other at some point, the sketch will not be able to, com to complete and be extruded or revolved or swept or lofted um, or any of the functions that you'd like to be able to do with it. So it's important to make sure that you have good closed geometry. Um, because of this, the way that you draw actually changes a little bit. If you've used AutoCAD traditionally, you're probably used to drawing something and drawing it perfect the first time. Um, in this case, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get the basic shape of what you're what you're going for roughed out in your sketch, and then afterwards you go through and you tweak it, fine tune it, you constrain it, you dimension it, and all the all the bits that go along with that. So don't don't be flipping out quite yet, uh, just because this seems a little bit a little bit off if that's what you're used to. So let's go ahead and make an extrusion here and we're going to go ahead and just pull that up. So I'm going to say we want this to come up four. Four is too much. Uh, we want it to come up three. There we go. Okay, so three looks good. We're going to go ahead and finish there. You'll notice these are, in fact, it, it, uh, it continues working, building it as a single part because we're working in in a part file here. Now that I've got this top piece extruded out of our base, I would like to round it over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an extruded cut right here, and I need to create a sketch for that. So the sketch that I'm going to make is going to be the opposite of what we've been doing. Before we've been doing you know, the sketch that we want to have be positive space, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a sketch that's going to represent the negative space we want to take out of our object. So. I'm going to select our sketch option here. I'm going to pick the, sur the surface that I want to sketch on, and I'm going to start drawing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a rectangle. Just kind of pull it down. About right there is good. 
and then I'm going to draw an arc. And it's going to start at the midpoint of this. It's going to go to the edge. And it's going to go halfway around like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and oops, select this bottom line and I'm just going to delete it. So now all we have is this, this object, this sketch that we created with three sides and an arc. So we can go ahead and uh, exit the sketch right here. And you'll see there it is. And let's head back over to our Features tab and let's make an extrusion. You'll notice it wants to go all the way over, and, and quite frankly, I mean, with with this, as long as you don't have additional geometry back here on your part, it should be fine. But in order to make a a, a clean cut and to keep your your geometry clean, what we're going to do is we're going to pick kind of a a, a termination for the cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to say we can say through all, and it could end right there, or we could say uh, if if we're being choosy, we've got all sorts of options on where the cut can go to. Um, this incidentally is the same as, as an extrude, extrude boss. You can pick kind of what it extrudes to, how far it extends. So let's just say it's going to go through all in that way. Kind of keeps it clean and it's just going to be a clean cut right through there. And there we have our, our piece. Um, and again, let's go ahead and jump on here really quick. And we're going to make another sketch. We're just going to put a hole in this. So we're going to go ahead and pick that surface. That's where we want to do our sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, and pick the circle option here. And you'll notice what I did is I hovered over this this rounded corner. And you'll see that the, I got this um, center point that popped up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pull off that center point and just make another um, another circle. And then I'm going to go back to our features, do an extruded cut. And again, we'll say we want to go through all and go ahead and click. OK, and there's the hole in our part. So in a nutshell, that is, that is those are the absolute basics of sketching, right? Creating a sketch, putting down geometry, making sure your sketch is a closed loop, and, and extrusion. And between sketching and extrusion, extrusion, you can do a lot of things. There's still a lot that the software is definitely capable of. So we're going to dive into that some more in the next video. So after this, you should be fairly uh, comfortable with the idea of getting into a sketch and getting out of a sketch, putting geometry down inside of a sketch and making an extrusion, either a positive or a negative extrusion uh, by using the, the boss or the cut features. That's it for this video. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you thought this video was good, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you thought it was fantastic, life-changing, go ahead and subscribe and I'll bring you more of them. And I will see you in the next video.